Hi, you guys. It is March 31st, and I had to jump on here real quick because God is speaking so clearly to us these days so that we might awaken and come back to the truth. Now, this news story that's trending about Biden announcing transgender, transgender Day of Visibility on the same day as Easter, it says a lot. I'm not, I'm not into politics. God's kingdom is not of this world. The politicians in this world have nothing to do with the kingdom of God. When Jesus returns, he's going to put his saints in charge. The saints will have positions of power and will rule and create the kingdom of God on earth. But that day hasn't come yet. So it's not about politics. However, what I believe uh, the spirit of the Lord is showing us is that he's just making more and more of a differentiation between um, the false uh, holidays of Babylon, the false gods of Babylon, um, which Satan and the devil and his kingdom are behind, and his true festivals. So if you look at this, them attaching this day, trans Transgender Day, to Easter, just lets you know, to me, that it's not really connected with well, it's not really connected with God's truth. You need to research Easter and Ishtar. The truth is coming out. You know, this is all part of Babylon. The true day of res to celebrate Resurrection Sunday, the resurrection of the Lord, the crucifixion, would be during the true biblical Passover and Days of Unleavened Bread, which will fall on like April 22nd and 23rd this year. You can look into that. I, I put some information about that in one of my last videos, but um, because Jesus would have been resurrected during the Feast of Unleavened Bread, Passover and Feast of Unleavened Bread time, since he was the New Testament Passover for us. And following the Passover, the Unleavened Bread is celebrated, and during that time would have been when he would have been uh, resurrected. So you need to look into that. That's the day that they're celebrating Easter this year is about three weeks away from the biblical true calendar of Passover, our Passover lamb and the days of unleavened bread. Okay, that's something to look into. And also, hopefully this is not glitching, but there are so many scriptures about um, staying true to God's way and his festivals, not, not going after false gods, false altars, um, the ways and religious practices of others in the land beside you if they are not walking in the ways of God that he spoke in the Bible and in his festivals. Because his festivals and his feast days do point out the plan for redemption of creation, the plan of restoring all of creation. Um, you know, the first stage where the earth is ruled under Satan, the end of that age of rule of deception, the great tribulation and shaking, the return of the true Messiah, the 1,000-year millennial rule of Jesus Christ with his saints on the earth, where the lion will lay down with the lamb and they will learn of war no more. Then at the end of that period, um, Revelations indicates it'll be some sort of uprising again that God will allow. And then he mentions a second resurrection for those who were not in the first resurrection, for those who were not around during the time of the millennium, for those who were not alive at Jesus' return but did not belong to Christ, did not have a spirit, and so were not resurrected at the first return of Christ, there is mentioned in the book of Revelation a second rev uh, resurrection period, okay? So that's more to talk about. Maybe I'll talk about that in another video and about my understanding about that. All right, peace, love, and blessings as we pursue the truth and seek to return to our Lord and um, flee Babylon and its practices that we might escape the pestilence, the plague, and the punishment. Okay, peace. I love you all. Bye-bye.